Hi and hello guys, uh, this is Vignesh here. In this video what we are going to see is uh, how to implement uh, Millie's function in Arduino programming. And also we are going to see about significant difference between Millie's function and delay function. Now let's get started. First of all, we have to understand what is mean by Millie's function. Millie's function is having a written type and it will return number of milliseconds that is actually passed since the program began to run. Okay. To demonstrate what I'm going to do is in void step, I'm just going to begin the serial communication. For that purpose, we can just do like the serial.begin and uh, I'm just passing the baud rate of 9600 and just come to the void loop. Here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an uh, unsigned long integer variable. Okay. And uh, I'm just calling the millis function. Okay. The millis function will return unsigned long int. Okay. So for that purpose, we have created this variable. Okay. Now we will just print it out. Okay. Serial dot print ln of uh, x now just uh, go to tools over here and select a proper board and then the port number okay and afterwards we will go and upload this program if you need to save the program just go and save once uploading gets completed just open the serial monitor here you can see guys the values is keep on incrementing right okay actually in milliseconds it is keep on incrementing Okay, so from here you can clearly understand that the millis function is uh, returning the number of milliseconds actually passed since the program began to run. Now we are going to see another example that uh, how we can make a repetitive event. For that purpose, in white setup, I'm just going to begin the serial communication. For that purpose, uh, serial dot uh, begin. I'm just passing the baud rate of 9600 just to come to the void loop or uh, here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create uh, an unsigned long integer variable called uh, current millis and uh, i'm just calling the millis function now the current millis variable keep the track of time since the program started to run right i'm just going to create uh, two global variables one is actually previous millis it is also the type of uh, unsigned long integer. And uh, another variable which is nothing but uh, interval that is also the type of uh, unsigned long integer. And uh, here I am just going to as in the value as thousand okay why i am doing this because uh, for every thousand milliseconds one event has to occur which event we will create it soon over here for that purpose i'm just going to create one condition if difference between the current millis and uh, previous millis is greater than or equal to interval then what has to happen it has to print out hello world to the serial monitor That's it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign the value of uh, current millis to the previous millis. Okay. So for the purpose of uh, the previous millis, current millis. Okay. Before discuss about this program, just go and uh, upload this program and let's see what happens. Okay. And now just go to tools, go to port and then select a proper port number. Now we will upload this program. 
Once uploading done, just open the serial monitor. Here you can see guys, uh, the hello world is uh, actually printing for every thousand milliseconds, right? And uh, here, hello world is actually an event that is keep on occurring every thousand milliseconds. So that is the actual thing we have to know. And uh, now just take a look at the simple calculation you can understand in much better way. Okay, let's say the current release value is actually thousand milliseconds. Okay. So, we actually assign the value of previous millis as 0, right? Now, just take a look over here. The difference of current millis and previous millis is actually 1000. Okay. Now, just uh, check the condition. If it is greater than or equal to 1000. Okay. This condition becomes true. Why? Because 1000 is equal to 1000, right? So, this condition it gets satisfied and uh, this piece of code is get executed. Okay, as the same way, the previous millis value now becomes 1000, right? If the current millis value becomes 2000 means, what will happen? Then again, this condition will be get satisfied and this piece of code again, it will run. Okay, from here you can clearly understand that Millis function will keep on track the time since the program starts to run. But in case of delay function, it will pass the program for a certain amount of time. For an example, if I'm just providing delay of uh, 3000, what will happen? For 3000 milliseconds, it will actually pass the program or it will stop the program exactly, right? But in case of millis, it won't actually pass the program, but it keep on track the time of program gets running. So that's it guys. That's all about uh, this video. For more amazing videos, kindly like and subscribe. Your subscription a lot of me to us. Thank you.